Okay, just a bit more on this whole thing of saving resources. Um, if we create a software instrument track and with the open library not ticked, then when we create a software instrument track, it just creates a raw blank instrument track. It doesn't put the default instrument on there. Okay, here's the library now. Okay, instead of using these channel strip presets, which as I've told you before, everything in the library is a channel strip preset, right? So when you load a synth or other instrument channel strip preset, you're loading the channel strip preset called, for example, lead classic sawtooth lead and that loads up the channel strip with the software instrument on it with a particular patch for the software instrument installed in the software instrument to make the classic sawtooth lead sound and the channel loads up with effects on and it'll load up one or two auxiliary return reverbs as well okay but instead of always going to these channel strip presets get your raw instrument track and either on its channel here in inspector column on the left or in the mixer on its channel there remember the inspector column channel is just a copy of the one in the mixer right on the instrument slot here get into installing raw instruments yeah like any of the raw instruments can be installed now on the channel for the track so I could manually put the ES2 onto this channel okay so now I've just got an instrument track with the raw ES2 on it and then the ES2 has its own library of patches now these aren't channel strip presets these are actual just synth patches for the ES2 and you can load up these and then you can put any effects on manually that you want if you want effects so I could go to synth leads and I could put trans lead on yeah like that and that's just the raw ES2 trance lead with no effects nothing okay you know and then um, I could go to make another instrument track and on here I could go to the instrument slot for, the, for on this channel for this new track and I could manually put on here an ESM or something All right a small little baseline type synth and this could be my bass analog base one or whatever analog base two bass bleep classic acid bass you know whatever you like clean bass dub bass bass house organ still make it a bass sound if it's played low you know this you know this is just a very basic synth uses hardly any resources yeah whatever or I could put on here um, ESP or polysynth uh, it's got its own patches as well. Um, why is it not playing? lots of instruments so let's say I'll, I go with the retro synth put a raw retro synth on here and on this I'm going to make um, a synth string thing you know, bright bright strings you know or
Okay, but the point is, you know. I've got two raw synths. Okay, and then I can add another <coughs> instrument track. And again, put a raw instrument on. On this, I could put, I don't know, the ES1 or whatever I like, you know. I'll put an ES mono ES1 on there. And it's got its own patches as well, you know. three raw synths using very little resources <clears throat> okay but you know I could select all of their channels and just on any of the sends for the highlighted channels just assign it to the first free bus it creates an auxiliary and on the auxiliary here I put a reverb and I'm just using one space designer and this can be my large reverb I have a large plate like a, this midnight plate and then any of them I can send out and have a bit of reverb on all of them, right? So here's a trance lead with reverb. Analog strings with reverb. And this trance lead. You know. I'm just saving resources like that so you know and you can add any other effects you want on the channels for the independent synths you know just get into installing your synths raw and you know see what the synths have got because the raw synths they've got their own patches you know <coughs> and um, there you go there's other ways to save resources you know get into using raw synths installed onto the channels manually for instrument tracks instead of always going to the channel strip presets yeah you can do it like that and you know let's just show you something else let's get rid of that hang on let's delete this track delete that track let's go back to this trance lead it's just a raw es2 trance lead one of the patches from the library of es2 sounds built into the es2 right there it is <coughs> okay and it's got the auxiliary send going out to this large reverb now let's say you think, well, <clears throat> I'll make another instrument track and I want to use the synth lead, classic sawtooth lead. Well, you can do this. You can load it up and it loads up the two auxiliary returns with the two space designers on, right? Open the ES2. Now here's the ES2 actually doing the classic sawtooth lead that's part of this channel strip preset. So that's the patch for the classic sawtooth lead the ES2 is playing. Copy it, open your ES2 manually installed onto the channel for an instrument track, and paste in that paste in that synth patch <coughs> from the classic sawtooth lead channel strip preset. And now this channel strip preset is, is classic sawtooth lead. And our raw synth is also classic sawtooth lead, the same synth patch. Now listen to the difference. This is the channel strip preset one. It's got delay and it loaded up two space designers. I'm playing it now. And this is our manually installed ES2 with the same ES2 patch copied over from the channel strip preset ES2. But just sending out to our single space designer reverb that we manually installed. The only difference is it hasn't got the delay on. But it sounds very similar, right? So, you know, this, if I, don't, if I now get rid of the classic sawtooth lead channel strip preset track, we're back to just our raw ES2 sending out to a large reverb. Less resources, but it sounds pretty much the same. The only thing missing is a bit of delay. Well fine, to save delay resources, 
set up another auxiliary send on the ES the raw ES2 channel. That creates another auxiliary return, and on this put a delay. So the delay is a, sh a delay that you can send other instruments to. It's a master delay. All right, stereo delay. <coughs> yeah. And um, now we can send a little bit of our raw ES2 synth to the delay as well. And that sounds even more like the transfer preset one. But the thing is, if we now install another synth, another instrument channel, and again, let's just close that, and instead of going straight for a channel strip preset that will load up loads of effects and a couple of space designers, or at least one space designer, we manually install a synth. Let's add another ES2, uh, a raw ES2, and we'll choose one of its own internal patches, translead. Okay, now we've got this raw ES2 instrument track and channel doing a trance lead. Now I can add the same to auxiliary sends going out to my reverb and my delay and have a bit of reverb on my raw ES2 trance lead and some delay like that yeah and um, and then I've got two different trancey type synths. This one, which has got the S2 patch copied over from the channel strip preset synth lead, um, classic sawtooth lead, and then I've got this second S2 playing its own internal sound called uh, trance lead. Okay, and both of them are sharing the same reverb and the same delay. Okay much less resources right now if you wanted to layer these just to show you if you wanted to layer them into a single synth you select the track for both right click and create a track stack make it a summing stack and both synths are then their outputs are set to a group bus so they both arrive at this channel which is the group bus for both synths and if you you can now compact that down to just the group bus track and play both synths at the same time. Okay, and then inside mix the level of the two. I could have less of the trance lead, a bit more. Yeah. Now on this trance lead. Um, Which is the actually the classic sawtooth lead ES2 patch copied across, copied over from the channel strip preset. On here, I could put some EQ and make it a bit more trebly, like that, and harsh, like that. Lower that other one. So this is that one, and this is the ES2 trans lead patch. And together, and they're an octave apart. And you got this. Now, I could take the first one here, and here, put it up another octave higher. Now I get this. Blend now, select the group bus, so I'm playing both. So now I've got a um, track stack, two layered synths, and I did it all manually. So my resources is just the two raw synths, an EQ, and a master reverb and a master delay. Any other synths I add, I can send them to the same reverb, master reverb, and the same master delay to add reverb and delay and I don't add another reverb and another delay for each synth I add I just use one master reverb and one master delay okay and this um, track stack I can title this as um, I don't know trans stack like that there you go and when I compact it 
I can open it up, choose any track and play just the individual synth. Or that one. But if, if I select the group bus track, I'm playing both. Like that. All right. Then inside the stack, open it up and I can choose how much of each of the two synths inside my stack, how much of each one gets sent to the delay and how much gets sent to the reverb. So, you know, a little less reverb on the bigger trance synth, a little less delay and more delay and reverb on the higher pitched one and I get this. Etc. Okay, do you get no idea? This is all about saving resources. Just get into creating raw instrument tracks and then manually installing the raw instruments onto the tracks, the channel for the tracks, uh, like say the um, you know the uh, retro synth, and then get into choosing the actual synth patches for the synth rather than always going to channel strip presets. Okay, so other ways to save resources, yeah. Don't always go for the channel strip presets every time, which loads up a bunch of effects and auxiliary sends with return of reverbs on and all that. It loads all that gump as well. Get into using the raw synths more directly by installing them onto the channels for instrument tracks, yeah. And you'll save resources. <laughs>